Hello YouTube, today we're going to learn about arrays and how to populate an array. Alright, so tutorial, go ahead and set it up and we're going to get started with this. Alright, so there are things we're going to be using. We're going to be using the keyboard, so we're going to need to import our scanner. Import java.util.scanner Let's hope that's correct. And let's go ahead and name our scanner. Scanner is the scanner. scanner. System.n. Oops. <clears throat> and let's go create our array. Int array equals new. I call this array size all right so let's call this um, array size array size and we're gonna call name a new end to call int array underscores Oops. size Actually, it's just another one. All right, it's gonna give us an error, so let's just uh, move the array under the array size. So now we're saying array. We're creating a new int array, and we're giving the uh, int this array um, a size of array size, which is one. So this array is going to be a, in the size of 1. But we don't want this to be a size of 1. We want this to be a size of whatever the user wants it to be, right? So we want, what we're going to do is we're going to let the user define the size of this array. So we're going to ask the user, what size do you want this array to be? So we're going to go ahead and print out system dot out dot print ln how many numbers do you want to enter always and we're gonna call we're gonna say array size array size array size is equal to spell mistake all right now the correct way to do this is get rid of this put int over here declare array size here and then create your array but I just wanted to show you how to create the array all right, so we just said we're gonna create an array named array and the size of this array is gonna be array, whatever array size is. And the array size is defined by the user, right? So now we're gonna let the user populate the array. So we're gonna use a loop because they're gonna keep entering numbers until the array is full, right? So we're gonna say for count is equal to sorry let me go ahead int count is equal to zero count is less than array size size count plus plus all right what's this doing this is doing is looking at uh, setting a count is equal to zero and as long as count is less than array size it's gonna add one to count and it's gonna run this code all over again and run the code over here and then it's gonna check if count is le less than array size if it is it's gonna add one to count and run this code and this gonna, then it's gonna check again so until our count has been met until our count is 
until we have run this code um, so many times that uh, the same length as the array this code is gonna keep running so we're gonna go um, System that I'll print. And enter your number for position. Let's actually let's do printf. Position. Um, we do not int, so that's what we do. And uh, colon. Right? And we're going to say count. So when count is one, it's going to go. Please enter your number for position one. Then it's going to run again, and count is going to be two, right? Beca uh, because it's going to add count to one, so it's going to go for. Please enter your number for position two. And we gotta save that inside our array. Right? So we're gonna go um, array. And we're gonna give it an index of count. So first time it's gonna run, it's gonna run it in the position of array index one. I'm sorry, array index zero. Second time is gonna be array index one. Third time is going to be array index two, and that's how we're going to let the user populate this array. Array. Sorry, don't forget the parentheses. All right, so now let's see. What happens? Let it run. How many numbers do you want to enter? I want to enter eight numbers. All right, so position zero, I want to say is 90. And as you can see, until we're going to enter eight numbers, it's going to go up to 39. Now you're like, Okay, why is it seven? Well, it's seven because we started at zero. If you wanna, if you wanna end, start at one, um, you wanna enter this at, uh, you wanna enter this as uh, count plus one. So what we can do is uh, int position is equal to count plus. And you can just enter position. All right. So now it's going to start at zero. Let's go four. I mean, now it's going to start at one. So 23, 24, So see, now this one goes up to uh, four. But remember, array starts at zero. So you can't add, uh, put position over here because then your array's your array's first position which is zero is going to be blank because uh, it's going to put it in the ones position so because our position is uh count plus one you're going to add it at count now how do you find the sum of an array well we're going to create another little thing we're going to say four Into count. All right, this one. Let's just name it i, just to be different. i is equal to zero. All right. i is less than array size, so which is going to be i is less than array size. i plus plus. All right. So now we're going to add everything in here. Array size, spelling mistake. Remember guys, Java, you gotta be anal with that spelling. 
All right, so now we're gonna enter, uh, enter int sum is equal to int sum is equal to zero. So let's declare int sum is equal to zero over here. Sum is equal to zero, right? Sum is equal to sum plus array count. I'm sorry, array i, 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 not count. Alright, and then we're gonna print it up. Alright, so we're gonna have a system dot out dot print in. Your total is so your total is sum. And all right, ready? This is gonna all right. All right, and you enter five times. Which one is gonna be ten? Fifty. Ten. Ten. Okay, we messed up. Our total is actually 90, but why did it uh, run our total is 10, 60, 17, and blah, blah, blah? Well, because it's going sum plus sum and uh, sum plus sum equals sum equals uh, sum equals sum plus array, and it's printing it every time it's adding it, right? So, but we only want to print it once. So let me go here. Boom. So we have our sum. And let's run this again. One plus one. Two is one. One to five numbers. First one is one. Second one is one. Third one is one. Fourth one is one. Fifth one is one. And five ones is equal to five. So my total is five. So my array works. So this is how this works. I'm sorry if I'm too fast, but you need to be pretty careful about this stuff, and I'm in a hurry. So thank you guys for watching. This has been a pretty amateur tutorial. I'll see you next time. Peace.